So let's see what we have inside the package. First you get the receiver. All the connections are on the end, so it's a little easier to pack stuff in the fuselage. Here's where you connect your voltage for your battery, your X bus connection, and your SRXL2 port for additional receiver. Then this is the bind button. You no longer need the bind plug. You still can use it on this top port or you can just press and hold this button. You get the power wire that hooks to your plug on your ESC and that will monitor your battery voltage and send that telemetry to your radio. You get the user guide. And that's it. That's kind of a bummer. It'd be nice if they sent you a couple stickers. Come on Spectrum, spending that much money on the receiver. You could throw in a couple stickers to put on my plane or on my radio box. So let's open up the ZOHD kit and see what we got in the box. Comes in a hard plastic box. This is how you set the direction of the throws and set the return to home or the fence mode. Here's the GPS antenna. Here's the co-pilot. This is where you hook the GPS antenna. This is where you connect this module. And this is where all of the connections in the plane go here. And then on this pin hooks to your receiver through a little cable that I'll show you in a minute. Here's the cables, small screwdriver, two-sided foam, anti-dampening, a really nice sticker. And the instruction manual. Very good instructions, easy to read. Everything is in English. All right, before we go on to the next step, let's talk a little bit about this cable here. This cable will go from your co-pilot board to your receiver. If you look on here, there's one white wire and on the top here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little arrow that points forward. So that is channel one. And then the next one is two, three, and so on to four. So that will plug in on your spectrum receiver sideways on the top, just like that. See on there how it says one, two, three, four. That's the same on this plug here. And this other plug goes on to channel five, normal, going up and down. So one goes up and the other one goes sideways. 
So what we need to do is on this plug, when it comes from the factory, it's looking for a certain sequence. It's looking for aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and this would be your mode switch. So one is aileron, two is elevator, three is throttle, four is rudder. But on Spectrum, it's different. Number one is throttle, two is aileron, three is elevator, and four is rudder. Here's a little cheat sheet I made. So this is what the co-pilot is looking for. One, two, three, and four on this receiver. The spectrum receiver is wanting it to be this way. So obviously it's going to get all screwed up. So what we're going to do is label these wires and then take them out and reconfigure how they go in to this. Now I know you can do that on the radio, but I've never had luck getting it to work. And this way is much easier and it, it works every time. Okay, we have our wires labeled. You can see there. One is the white, two and three. The fourth one you don't have to, to remove, so don't bother labeling that one. So here we go. This is what we have. This is what we need. So we're going to take these first three wires out. This is the screwdriver that comes with the kit. One is out. Two is out. Three is out. So you leave the bottom one and just take out the first three. So what we want is three so here's three, goes on the top, make sure it locks in place, then one is next, make sure it locks in place, and lastly is number two. If you look, it's got a cut on the top. Make sure that that goes on the top because that's what latches on this plastic piece on the plug. And that one's in. So now we have three on the top, one in the middle, two, and then four. Three, one, two, four. Three. One is second, two is third, four you don't change for spectrum. Three, one, two, four. So now when we plug this in to the first four ports, this one goes on plug five. We're all set, that's it. It's now ready for a spectrum protocol. You plug this in and it should work.